I'm glad to see such a bright and eager crowd. Here today, it reminds me of a story about a young boy who once stood at the edge of a vast ocean. He dreamed of sailing to far off lands, but everyone in his small village said it was impossible. That the world out there is too vast, too dangerous, they warned. But this boy, he had a sparkle in his eye, a belief that beyond that horizon lay possibilities untold. This boy's story isn't just a tale. It's a mirror reflecting a truth we often forget. Each one of us here has oceans to sail, mountains to climb, and vast skies to soar. Yet, how often do we limit ourselves? Anchoring our ships to the harbor because someone once told us the world out there is too vast, too dangerous. You see, our potential is like the open sea, the boundless, limitless. We all have dreams waiting to be realized, goals to be achieved. But too often, we confine ourselves to what we think is possible, not realizing that the only limits that truly exist are the ones we place on ourselves. I remember, years ago, I was no different. There was a time when I saw my dreams and aspirations as distant stars, beautiful but unreachable. I was working a job that paid the bills, but my heart wasn't in it. Every morning, as I tied my shoelaces, a little voice in my head would say, is this it? Isn't there more to life? That voice was my potential, quietly knocking, asking to be unleashed. And then one day, I made a decision, a simple yet profound decision to untie my boat from the dock and sail into the unknown. It wasn't easy. There were days I felt lost at sea, days when the waves of doubt and fear threatened to engulf me. But I held on to my vision. With each passing day, each small step forward, I realized that the only thing that had ever held me back was my own belief in the imaginary boundaries I had set for myself. Now, as I stand before you, my journey is a testament to the incredible feats we can achieve when we dare to believe in our limitless potential. It's a journey not just of achieving goals, but of discovering who we truly are when we dare to dream big. As we embark on this journey together today, remember the ocean of potential is vast and it's waiting for you. All you need to do is believe that you can sail it and you're already halfway there. Let's set sail on this adventure. Let's explore the boundless seas of our potential. And let's discover just how far we can go when we never limit ourselves. As we move forward today, I want you to think about your own boats, your own oceans. What dreams have you anchored because someone told you they were impossible? It's time to lift those anchors, my friends. It's time to sail into the vast, limitless potential that awaits each one of us as we journey through the uncharted waters of our potential. The compass guiding us is our belief, our inner conviction. This belief in oneself is the wind that fills our sails, propelling us forward even against the mightiest of storms. It's the foundation upon which all great achievements are built. The moment you start to believe in the possibility of achieving your dreams, that very moment, my friends, is when the magic starts to unfold. Think of belief as the seed planted in the fertile soil of your mind. It needs nurturing care and most importantly, it needs the sunshine of positive thought and the water of relentless action. But belief alone isn't enough. What directs this belief? What shapes it into something tangible and real is vision. Vision is the lighthouse that guides our ships through the fog of uncertainty and doubt. It's the picture we paint in our minds of what we aspire to become, of where we see ourselves in the grand canvas of life. Let me tell you about a young woman I met years ago. She came from a small town, much like many of us here. She had dreams, big dreams. But in her town, people often said dreams are just that dreams. They don't come true for people like us. Yet this young woman refused to accept this. She believed in herself, in her vision of becoming a renowned artist. Despite numerous rejections, financial struggles, and countless voices telling her it was impossible, 
She persisted today. She's not just an artist. She's an inspiration to many showcasing her work globally. Her vision broke the limits set by her circumstances. And then there's the story of a young man born into hardship and struggle. Every day was a fight for survival and the idea of success was as distant as the stars in the night sky. But he had a vision. He saw himself not as a product of his environment, but as an architect of his future. He believed he could rise above his circumstances, and he did. He worked tirelessly, fueled by his unwavering belief and clear vision. Today, he's a successful entrepreneur, a beacon of hope for many who come from similar backgrounds. These stories, my friends, aren't just tales of success. They're powerful reminders of what belief and vision can achieve. They're proof that when you believe in yourself and have a clear vision of where you want to go, the limits start to fade away. The barriers that once seemed insurmountable become stepping stones on your path to success. As we move forward, let's carry these stories in our hearts. Let them remind us that our belief in ourselves is the first step towards achieving the extraordinary. Let them inspire us to craft a vision so compelling that it lights up our path even in the darkest of times. And most importantly, let these stories be a testament to the fact that with belief and vision, what once seemed impossible becomes possible. So as you sit here today, Think about your belief in yourself. Reflect on your vision for the future. Ask yourself, are you ready to break the limits you or others have set? Are you prepared to embark on a journey where your belief and vision guide you towards a future brighter than you've ever imagined? The path is there waiting for you. All you need to do is take that first step with belief in your heart and a clear vision in your mind. And remember, the only true limits that exist are the ones we place on ourselves. Let's not limit ourselves anymore. Let's rise above them with belief as our wings and vision as our guide. As we navigate this journey of self-belief and vision, we inevitably come across a formidable ocean, an ocean filled with waves of fear and doubt. These waves, they have a way of crashing against our aspirations trying to push us back to the shore of comfort and familiarity. But it's crucial to remember, every person who ever achieved something of value had to cross this very ocean. Fear and doubt, they're not just roadblocks. They're also indicators. They signal that we're venturing out of our comfort zones, stepping into new territories. It's natural to feel fear when we're about to do something big, something that matters. But it's in these moments when fear is the loudest that we must find the courage to move forward. I want to share a strategy that has helped me tremendously in overcoming fear and doubt. It's simple yet powerful. Face your fears head on and act despite them. Courage isn't the absence of fear. It's the decision to act even when you're afraid. Each time you confront your fears, you strip them of their power and you gain strength, wisdom, and confidence. Let me tell you about a friend of mine. He was terrified of public speaking. His voice would quiver, his hands would shake at just the thought of standing in front of a crowd. But he had valuable ideas to share, a story that needed to be told. So he started small, speaking to a group of friends, then a community gathering. With each step, he was shaking, but he was also growing. Today, he's an inspirational speaker, touching the lives of thousands. His fear of public speaking didn't vanish overnight, but his determination to face it created a path for his voice to be heard. I, too, have had my fair share of fears and doubts. There were moments when I questioned my capabilities, moments when the whisper of doubt tried to drown my dreams. But I learned to ask myself, What's the worst that can happen? More often than not, the worst was not as catastrophic as my fear made it out to be. And even when it was, I realized that the risk of not trying, of not giving my dreams a chance, was far greater than the risk of failing. So, 
how do we apply this in our lives? Start by acknowledging your fears, not as enemies, but as signposts pointing you towards growth. Then take small, consistent steps towards facing them. It might be speaking up in a meeting, sharing your ideas with a colleague, or taking on a project that stretches you. With each step, you'll find your fears losing their grip and your confidence rising. And when doubt whispers in your ear, challenge it. Arm yourself with the belief in your vision and the successes you've already achieved, no matter how small. Remember, every giant leap for mankind started with a small step of courage. As we continue on this path, let's embrace our fears and doubts as companions in our journey. They are not there to stop us, but to strengthen us, to forge us into individuals capable of achieving extraordinary things. The courage to move forward despite fear, the strength to push through doubt, that's what separates the dreamers from the doers. Let's be the doers. Let's take those steps, however shaky, and walk towards the future we envision for ourselves. For on the other side of fear and doubt lies a world of possibilities waiting for us to seize them. In our journey of self-improvement, having conquered the waves of fear and doubt, we now sail into the waters of discipline and consistency. This is the part of the journey that tests our resolve, our commitment to the course we've set for ourselves. It's about doing what's required, even when the initial spark of excitement has dimmed. Discipline and consistency are the engines that drive our boat forward when the winds of enthusiasm aren't blowing. Think of discipline not as a burden, but as a liberator. It's the discipline to wake up early to work on your dream, the discipline to say no to distractions, the discipline to keep pushing when results seem distant. It's about doing the right thing, again and again, even when it's not the easy thing. This repeated action, this consistency, it's the magic ingredient that turns ordinary into extraordinary. I once knew a man, a young aspiring musician. He had talent, but so do many. What set him apart wasn't just his skill with the guitar. It was his discipline. Every day, without fail, he'd practice. When others went out, he stayed in, honing his craft. Over time, this discipline lifted him from a local performer to a renowned artist. It wasn't a stroke of luck or a sudden breakthrough, but the cumulative effect of daily discipline. Let me share a personal story. Years ago, I set a goal for myself, a significant one. At first, I was on fire, working tirelessly towards it. But as time passed, the enthusiasm waned. That's when discipline took over. I kept at it day in, day out, even when I didn't feel like it. It was hard, yes, but this consistent effort turned a distant dream into a living reality. It's like planting a tree. You water it and nurture it, not seeing growth for a long time. But underground, roots are spreading, and one day, it bursts forth stronger and more magnificent than you ever imagined. So how do you cultivate this discipline and consistency. Start small. Build routines that nurture your goal. If you're writing a book, write a page a day. If you're running a marathon, start by running a mile. It's not the magnitude of the action, but the regularity that counts. Over time, these small actions accumulate, and like compound interest, they grow into something substantial. Another key aspect is to track your progress. Keep a journal, make a checklist, do whatever works for you. Seeing your progress, no matter how small, fuels your motivation. It's a reminder that you're moving, maybe not always at the speed you want, but you're moving. And remember, discipline is a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. There will be days when you falter, and that's OK. What's important is getting back on track, not letting a slip up turn into a downfall. As we sail forward, Let's embrace discipline and consistency, not as foes, but as allies. They are the steady hands that guide our ship, ensuring we stay true to our course. They transform our vision from a distant dream into a tangible reality. Discipline and consistency are the unsung heroes of success, quietly working in the background, 
turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. Let's honor them, for they are the builders of our destiny. As we continue our voyage, guided by the stars of discipline and consistency, we encounter seas that are ever-changing, often turbulent. It's here in these unpredictable waters where we face the true test of our journey, embracing change and challenges. You see, it's easy to sail on calm waters, but the true skill of a sailor is shown when the seas are rough and unpredictable. Change and challenges, they are not roadblocks. They are, in fact, stepping stones. They are opportunities for growth, pathways to our potential. In every challenge lies the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. It's through the storms of life that we learn to sail our ship better, to adjust our sails, to navigate the uncertain waters. I remember a story of a young entrepreneur who started a small business. Just as he was getting off the ground, a big competitor moved into town, threatening to engulf his little venture. He faced a stark choice, give up or adapt. This young man chose to adapt. He shifted his business model, focused on personalized services, and carved a niche for himself. Today, his business isn't just surviving, it's thriving. The challenge didn't just test him, it transformed him. Adaptability my friends, is a remarkable trait. It's about being flexible, open to new ideas, willing to adjust, and ready to embrace change. The world around us is constantly evolving, and so must we. Being adaptable means acknowledging that the only constant in life is change. It's understanding that the strategies that worked yesterday might not work tomorrow. Let me share with you a personal experience. Years ago, I faced a situation that turned my world upside down. It was a period of intense change, and initially, I resisted. I wanted things to remain as they were. But I soon realized that resistance was futile. I had to adapt to find strength in adversity. That period of change became a period of immense personal growth. It taught me resilience. It taught me flexibility. And most importantly, it taught me that in the heart of change lies opportunities that we might never have imagined. So, how do we embrace change and challenges? First, we accept them as inevitable. Next, we look for the lessons they bring. Every challenge, every change in our life is there to teach us something. It could be perseverance, patience, or a new skill. Then we adapt. We find new ways to approach problems, we stay flexible in our thinking, and we remain open to new possibilities. Remember, the oak tree that withstands the storm is not the one that is rigid and unyielding. It is the one that bends and sways with the wind, adapting to the force, not fighting it. Just like the oak, we too must learn to bend, to be flexible, to adapt. As we sail forward, let's view each change each challenge as a new adventure, a new lesson to be learned. Let's adapt and grow, for it's in these moments of change that our potential truly becomes limitless. The world is full of possibilities, and with adaptability as our compass, there's no storm we can't weather, no sea we can't sail. Let's embrace the winds of change, for they bring with them the promise of new horizons, new dreams, and new victories. Gist. As we navigate through the seas of change and adaptability, let's consider the significance of the crew aboard our ships, the relationships and mentorships that guide us through our voyages. In this journey of life, the people we surround ourselves with, the mentors we seek guidance from, they are the wind beneath our sails. They push us forward, guide us, and help us navigate through the tumultuous waters of life. Building supportive relationships is not just about networking or expanding our social circles. It's about connecting on a deeper level, sharing our journeys, learning from each other, and growing together. It's about finding those individuals who believe in us, even when we doubt ourselves, who challenge us to be better, and who celebrate our successes as if they were their own. The value of a mentor cannot be overstated. 
A mentor is more than just a guide. They are a beacon of wisdom, experience, and insight. They have navigated through storms we are yet to encounter, charted courses we are yet to explore. Learning from a mentor is like having a map in uncharted waters. It doesn't make the journey easy, but it gives us a, a sense of direction, a sense of purpose. Let me share with you a chapter from my own life. Years ago, when I first set sail on my professional journey, I was lost, struggling to find my path. It was then that I met someone who saw potential in me that I hadn't seen in myself. This person wasn't just a mentor. He was a guiding star in the darkest of nights. He taught me not just the technicalities of the trade, but the virtues of patience, resilience, and integrity. His wisdom was not just in the words he spoke, but in the life he lived. From him, I learned that true success isn't just about achieving goals. It's about the person we become in the process. Finding a mentor like this isn't about seeking someone who has a life we want. It's about finding someone who has walked a path and is willing to share their knowledge, their failures, and their successes. It's about mutual respect and a willingness to learn. And remember, mentorship is a two-way street. As much as we learn from our mentors, we also have something to offer them a fresh perspective, new ideas, and our journey of growth. So, how do we build these relationships and find these mentors? It starts with being open, reaching out, and most importantly, being genuine. Attend gatherings, be a part of communities, join forums where you can meet people who share your interests and passions. When you seek a mentor, look for alignment in values and vision. And when you find them, be respectful of their time and wisdom. Be an eager learner, but also be willing to contribute to the relationship. In this journey of ours, let's remember that no one sails their ship alone. We need a crew, a team, people who believe in us, who guide us, and who help us see the world through different lenses. As we leverage these relationships and mentorships, we not only enhance our journey, but also add value to the journeys of those around us. Together, we can navigate to shores we never thought possible, achieve feats we once thought were beyond our reach. Let's cherish and nurture these relationships, for they are the treasures of our voyage, the lighthouses guiding us home. Sailing through the sea of life, having navigated the importance of relationships and mentorship, we now come upon the continuous horizon of learning and growth. This vast ocean is endless, stretching as far as the eye can see, filled with knowledge, experiences, and lessons yet to be discovered. It's a reminder that our journey doesn't end at a certain point or achievement. Rather, it's an ongoing voyage, a perpetual quest for improvement and self-discovery. Continuous learning is like the compass that keeps us on course, ensuring we don't veer off into complacency or stagnation. It's about keeping our minds active, our skills sharp, and our perspectives fresh. In a world that's constantly changing, the only way to keep up, let alone lead, is to keep learning. I recall a conversation with a wise man, well into his 80s, with more years behind him than ahead. Yet. His eyes sparkled with the same curiosity as a child. He said, the day I stop learning is the day I start aging. This struck a chord with me. It's not the years in our life, but the life in our years. And nothing keeps life in our years like continuous learning. This journey of continuous learning and growth isn't confined to classrooms or textbooks. It happens in the conversations we have, the challenges we face, and the reflections we make on our experiences. It's about being open to new ideas, willing to question our long-held beliefs, and ready to embrace new ways of thinking. But how do we embed this continuous learning into our lives? Start by cultivating curiosity. Ask questions. Seek to understand the why behind the ah. What's next? Learning a daily habit. Read articles. Listen to podcasts. Engage in discussions. Remember, every person you meet 
Every experience you have is a chance to learn something new. Let me share a personal practice of mine. Every evening, I spend a few minutes reflecting on my day. I ask myself, what did I learn today? What could I have done better? This simple practice has been incredibly enlightening, helping me grow in ways I hadn't imagined. The beauty of continuous learning is that it doesn't just expand our knowledge. It transforms us. It helps us grow not just intellectually, but emotionally and spiritually. It makes us more adaptable, more resilient, more empathetic. It enriches our lives and, in turn, the lives of those around. As we sail forward, let's commit to being lifelong learners, to embracing every opportunity to learn and grow. In this ever-changing world, let our hunger for knowledge be insatiable, our quest for growth unending. Let's not just accumulate years. Let's accumulate wisdom, experiences, and insights. This journey of continuous learning and growth is not a race. It's a path to a fulfilling life. It's about finding joy in the process of learning and growing. So let's embark on this path with enthusiasm and openness. The horizon is vast and the possibilities are limitless. With each new thing we learn, each step we take in our growth, we become not just better professionals, but better people. Let's keep sailing in this ocean of knowledge, for in learning we find growth, and in growth we find life. As our journey together today nears its harbor, I want to leave you with some final thoughts on this limitless journey you're embarking upon. It's a journey not defined by the absence of storms or uncharted territories, but by your ability to navigate through them, to learn from them, and to emerge stronger. Your journey, remember, is uniquely yours. It's a canvas only you can paint, a story only you can write. There will be times when the seas are rough, when the winds are against you. In those moments, remember the power of belief and vision, the strength in overcoming fear and doubt, the resilience that comes from discipline and consistency, the growth that comes from embracing change and challenges, and the wisdom that comes from leveraging relationships and mentorship. As you sail forth, let your journey be guided by continuous learning and growth. Let curiosity be your compass and knowledge your north star. Keep expanding your horizons, for in learning, we discover not just the world around us, but also ourselves. And most importantly, never forget that the journey is about more than the destination. It's about the moments of self-discovery, the joys and challenges of the journey, the people you meet along the way, and the lives you touch. These are the true treasures of your voyage. As you step off this ship today and onto the shores of your everyday life, carry with you the lessons and insights you've gathered. Let them be your guiding light. But remember, a lighthouse is only as good as the sailor who heeds its call. So heed the call of your potential, the call of your dreams and aspirations. Your journey will be filled with opportunities disguised as challenges, treasures masked as trials. Embrace them all, for they are the stepping stones to your growth, the pathways to your potential. And so, as we part ways, I urge you to set sail on your limitless journey with courage, with hope, and with the unshakable belief that anything is possible. The world is a vast ocean of possibilities, and you have the power to navigate it, to explore its depths, and to reach new horizons. Your journey, your limitless journey, starts now. Go forth with the wind in your sails and a heart full of dreams. Go forth and write your story. A story of courage, of resilience, of growth. The journey opens. Remember, in the back of your life, there are no limits to how far you can travel, how much you can grow, and how deeply you can impact the world. So set your sails, steer your course, and embark on the journey of a lifetime.